Recycled plastic, it's important because the nature of the materials, they can be used infinitely. And you can remake them and remake them. You never ever have to throw these materials away. And we can be a part of a world, an environment that is very different if we work on the full life cycle of plastics. 30 years ago, the Keep America Beautiful campaign was in full swing. Curbside recycling began and mountains of plastic appeared from all this. We looked at what the best possible product is that we could make with this new material. We landed on outdoor furniture with a classic Adirondack chair and the Pollywood plastic lumber was born. All right, we are out in front of the recycling center. All of this plastic behind me, this is all coming from recycling centers here throughout the US and also we're pulling from ocean bound hotbeds throughout the world. We're primarily working with recycled plastic milk jugs. So this is where we always like to remind everybody, please rinse out your milk jugs before you recycle them. Otherwise we smell it in this building. Okay, so now we are inside the recycle line. So this is where we're taking all of those plastic bales that we had outside and we are running through the machinery here processing cleaning flaking and then ultimately pelletizing these recycled pellets are then going to be sent up via vacuum system to be stored in our storage silos to extrude into genuine Hollywood lumber Prior to Pollywood, I was in business with my dad. We had the farm, it was a stereotypical farm, and during that time, in the very early 80s, we pioneered the vinyl fencing industry. As you know, a young business guy at that time, I had experience with how valuable it is to replace wood materials that are used outdoors with a more suitable material that has longer life and other attributes. So when we started Pollywood, I could see the same correlations. All right, so now we're here in our extrusion area. This is where we're taking our recycled pellets and combining them with a few other materials to make our genuine polywood lumber boards. Here in the heater, there's a massive screw that is pushing the heated material through a die, depending on whatever profile size we're going for. And then it's pushing on to the cooling tanks. So once it's made it through the first tank, it's already pretty well solidified. But we're going to send it through two additional tanks just to make sure that it's completely solid by the time we cut it at the end of the line. We have a business here that has a lot of moving parts to it. We're a very vertical business. We do everything from recycling operations to extruding of the Hollywood lumber to the design to manufacturing, all the logistics involved, all the way to the end consumer. Our materials come in post-consumer. We work with waste management folks who would bundle up the materials, bring it into our plant, and we put it through our recycling facility. Tragically, the industry of plastics or the thought of plastics had this disposable connotation to them. It's very ingrained into our culture, and we're working very much to change that because there's no need to throw plastics away. These things can be remade infinitely. All right, so now we are in the heart of it. We're in the production cell. Here we're gonna be bringing our finished lumber, all of our cuts, all of our routing, all of our pre-drilled holes, all of that's done on the CNC. Once those pieces are done on the CNC, those are gonna be pulled off. Then from there, we're taking those parts, we're putting them into our box, and they're off for shipping. I was raised on a farm, and in the farming community, you take responsibility for the land, you take responsibility for the animals, and it was just baked into the culture of how we grew up. And that follows through with really our mantra of Hollywood. In a lot of ways, we are caretakers of the earth. In what we do with recycled plastic, your worldview is shaped in how you grow up, and in a lot of ways, that was my father for me, and how he lived life with tremendous joy and optimism. And I think that follows through with our business. We aspire to work and get satisfaction out of our work. We aspire to do something meaningful for the future generations, something that we can feel good about at the end of the day.